Six foot six and weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Big John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. Didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy, but if he spoke at all, he just said hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans, where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen and a crashing blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Then came the day at the bottom of the mine when the timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and hearts beat fast. Everybody thought that they'd breathe the last of John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man-made hell walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well. Grabbed a sagging timber, gave out with a groan, and like a giant oak tree just stood there along with Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. With all his strength, he gave a mighty shove. Then a miner yelled out, "There's a light up above!" And twenty men scrambled from a would-be grave. Now there's only one left down there to save Big John. With jacks and timbers, they started back down. Then came that rumble. We down on the ground, and the smoke and gas belched out of that mine. Everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Now they never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble stand in front of it. These few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies a big, big man, Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Yeah. 
Yeah. 